Hello, this is Miss R and this is MNBA Biology. We're reviewing for quiz 4.08 and 4.10. The big idea here is that chromosomes contain many genes. They're a chromosome made of DNA and on that chromosome are many genes between 3,000 and 10,000. Genes code for proteins. So each gene on one of those chromosomes codes for a protein. And genes have multiple forms or versions called alleles. So just like chocolate ice cream comes in many flavors like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, genes have many, way, many options. You can have red flowers, blue flowers, or, or yellow flowers, and those are all alleles of the flower color gene. Let's go over those big ideas. Here's a picture of a chromosome. That chromosome is made of a strand of DNA that's wound up um, on proteins, kind of like spools called histones. That's how the protein is condensed, or how, excuse me, how the DNA is condensed into a chromosome. Part of that DNA, a very specific location on that chromosome, a very specific chunk of DNA, is a gene. You can see right here it's showing that this part of the DNA that's in the chromosome, the DNA that's in the chromosome, part of that is a gene. Genes are specific parts of chromosomes. Each gene codes for a protein. So if you want this protein, you want to express this gene. If you want this protein, you're going to want to express this gene. You can see that proteins take on many forms. We have thousands and thousands of different proteins we use in our body, and each of them has a different gene that is expressed to build that protein. Genes have different versions or different forms. Here's a gene for flower color, and you can see you can have the gene for white, you can have the gene that for blue, it can be expressed as stripes, or it can be expressed as sort of the inverse of stripes. These different versions of the same gene are called, let's see if you can figure this out. If you guessed alleles, you're correct. Different versions of the same gene are called alleles. So let's go back and see if you can fill in the blanks. Chromosomes contain many, I'll give you a hint, they're parts of chromosomes, they're made of DNA. Chromosomes contain many genes. Genes code for many, they're one of the macromolecules we studied in Unit 2. A, a part of those macromolecules are enzymes. If you guessed proteins, you're absolutely correct. Genes code for proteins, and some of those proteins are enzymes that carry out many of the reactions in our bodies. Genes have multiple forms called alleles. Remember we looked at the flower colors. You could have blue or white or stripes. Those different forms of the same gene, it's, they're on the same place on the chromosome, are called alleles. What are chromosomes made of? Well, remember when we were talking about genes, we had a similar picture. We saw DNA like this, and that DNA is wound up on proteins called histones, just like you'd wind thread around a spool. And there are a whole bunch of spools all together, and that makes chromatin fiber, and that makes up the condensed chromosome. Remember when the cell is in PMAT, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, those chromosomes are condensed. So they can be organized for swapping. And when it's in the mitotic phases, chromosomes are condensed. The chromosomes, remember, are in the nucleus. The DNA always stays in the nucleus. Your DNA is kind of a big book of how to cook everything, and it's kind of um, kind of like a dictionary or another reference book. 
you want to keep it clean and nice. So you keep it in the nucleus of the cell. If you want to take the cookbook out of the kitchen, or if you want a recipe, and you want to take it out of the kitchen and take it grocery shopping, or to a friend's house to make that particular recipe, you copy it out of your giant book. And most people copy their recipes on into a, a little recipe card like this. This is much more portable, much more useful. You can make a whole bunch of copies and give them to friends. And that's exactly what your body does. You make mRNA from your DNA in the nucleus, and this mRNA travels outside the nucleus to the machinery of the cell that makes proteins. Let's talk about this process a little bit more. This is called transcription, this process of turning your big old book of DNA to mRNA, an mRNA recipe card, you write it out, and script means scribe. So transcription means to write. Imagine yourself writing out a recipe card. Here's the, here's the root script in Latin. Explain what is happening with DNA and RNA. Well, your big old book of how to cook everything, that's your DNA that's in every cell that's transcribed or written out to mRNA. So when you take a cookbook and you turn it into a recipe card, in our analogy, that's DNA to mRNA. Let's explain this diagram a little bit. You don't need to know a lot about transcription and translation for this particular, um, these quizzes. We'll learn much more next semester, but Let's understand the basics here. You take your DNA in the nucleus, you transcribe it into mRNA. This right here is mRNA. The mRNA leaves the nucleus and works with the ribosome and the tRNA to make proteins. This right, this right here is a polypeptide, which is like a baby protein. So this right here in the nucleus, that's transcription. You're writing out the recipe. When you take the recipe outside into the cytoplasm, outside the nucleus into the cytoplasm, and you turn it into a protein, that's translation, just like you would translate the recipe for chocolate chip cookies into actual cookies. So mRNA is recipe for a single protein. You transcribe a single gene into mRNA, just like you transcribe a single recipe, you wouldn't copy a whole bunch of recipes onto the same card. So the mRNA is a recipe for a single protein, a single gene. You copy it down into mRNA, or your cell does, in the nucleus. And then it goes out to the cytoplasm, and it gets turned into whatever proteins the cell needs. So there are lots of different recipes, and different cells use different recipes. Like if your family has this cookbook, you might not use every single recipe in the cookbook. And every cell in your body has this giant stack of DNA, but doesn't use all the recipes, doesn't use all the genes. Your liver cells don't use the heart cell proteins, heart cell protein genes. And your bone cells don't use the liver cell protein genes. Your brain cells don't use bone cell protein genes. They only use the brain cell protein genes. So you have lots of genes, they all code for different proteins, and only some of those genes get used in every cell. So here we have different recipes, different genes, different proteins, different cells. I'll say that again. Different recipes, like here, your liver cell protein, come from different genes, and they make different proteins. Different cells use different proteins. So this liver cell here, liver cell protein, even though both these, both the DNA for both these proteins is in every cell, the bone cell is only gonna use this recipe and the liver cell is only gonna use this recipe. It's not going to, every cell is not going to express every gene. 
And so cell differentiation happens because different genes are expressed. We'll go over that again. You need to know this for the quiz. Cell differentiation happens because different cells express different genes. So nerve cells that are all over your body, they express different genes in your DNA even though they have all the same DNA as every other cell. They all have this. They all have the big book of how to cook everything. All these cells have this big book. They only express the genes for nerve cells or red blood cells or smooth muscle cells. Remember, all body cells have the same genes. They all have the entire book of how to make an entire person, but they only express some of those genes. Your heart cells only use the heart cell recipes, the heart cell genes. That's a really important concept for quiz 4.10. So different kinds of cells happen because different genes are being expressed. If you want to make a liver cell protein, you go into the nucleus, you look for the liver cell genes, you make mRNA out of those, and then your liver or your liver cells make only the proteins that are right for liver cells. And that's it. Thanks for coming to um, this lovely video. And remember, chromosomes are important. Here's a parting thought. Chromosomes contain many genes. Genes code for proteins. Genes can have multiple forms called alleles. You can make more than one kind of a protein. And different genes are expressed in different types of cells. So your liver cells are only going to express the liver cell genes. They're not going to use the heart cell genes. Thanks a lot.